Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy 71J. And if you know me, you already know what's going on. We back with another video. So about a year ago, I made a video um, going over my one year hair growth journey. So that was pretty much a span of the year before up until that point in time, how long my hair I got. And it actually ended up being like my number one most viewed video so far. Yeah. 10K views, man. So first of all, before we even get too deep into this video, I want to go ahead and thank y'all really for liking that video, showing love to that. But since I've seen that y'all like that type of content, and y'all like that video in general, I want to give an update on it, man. It's been two years now. Like I said, I dropped the last video about a year ago, and that was a span of a year before then. So now this is a two-year journey an update video on why and how I grew my hair. The thing is, I missed out one main point, man. And it was the reason why I grew my hair out in general. And even going back and starting this video, I kind of was trying to figure out exactly why did I actually grow my hair out? I didn't have a number one answer. I never really had a real reason why. It's just kind of something that I felt like I needed to do and it kind of happened. But after sitting down and really think about it for a good little minute, man, it's a couple reasons, to be honest. And I want to go ahead and get it back to y'all. So y'all stay tuned in for this video, man. I actually had to make a target run real quick. I got some new products recently that I wanted to try out. And I got the leave-in conditioner for it. But the thing is, I wasn't looking for leave-in conditioner. I was trying to get actual conditioner. Really kind of fast. We're going to target right now, so y'all stay tuned. Boy, it's hot as hell. Gots to keep you some water, but no cap. It's actually kind of crazy. It's been two years now. Like, the pan... The pan... I don't even want to say the word. The pandy. It messed up time in general. Like, that's, it's everything weird now. It, it don't seem like it's been two years. But yeah, I definitely remember my last haircut. The last time a clipper touched the top of my head was November 2020. Right now, it's September 2022. So... I'm saying damn near two years now this is a real life two years worth of growth if y'all can see it i know it's kind of dark this is a real life two years worth of growth right here you know what i'm saying i can bite my hair see it's crazy i remember being in high school when folks had their hair long they've been growing it for a long time and they could do that type of shit like put it down to their mouth and their chin i'm like damn that shit long and i can never do it and granted, like I said in the last video, man, if your hair grow longer than mine or faster than mine or whatever the case may be, thicker, whatever it is, we all got different hair, man. I'm glad my hair can grow this long, you feel me, and grow this full and thick facial hair and everything. I'm a hairy dude in general. So like, I'm really blessed just to have hair to grow like this, you feel what I'm saying? I'm still young. I don't got no no balls or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, that's how life is. Some people have that issue, some people don't. Or not the issue, but that, that circumstance or whatever. Some people don't. But I really am proud of how far my hair has grown in general. But y'all came to this video because y'all want to see why I decided to grow my hair out in the first place. So let's go ahead and take it back, man. Now I definitely could take it back all the way, all the way back to when I was a little kid, a little baby boy with the braids. Y'all don't know that Jay. Y'all don't know little Jay, man. But we gonna start off at this time in general, this time in particular. Oddly enough, it kind of starts off even before I wanted to grow it out. Like the reason why I cut it in the first place kind of is the reason why I decided to grow it back out. For all the folks that know me, been following the channel for a long time, you can go back and look, you know what I'm saying? I had my temp and everything, the little fro. Like going into spring of my junior year, so like the end of my junior year, going into that football season and that summer and everything, I cut my hair off that spring. And I cut it back then just cause I was like, bro, I'm at a new school. New beginnings, I wanted to try something different. Grew it all the way out throughout that year and that season and everything. And then after I graduated, I cut it back off again. So in between that, that year or year and a half, two years or whatever, I cut my hair off, grew it back out, and then cut it right back off again. Went to college, new beginnings, you feel me? I wanted to try something different again, do the waves, you know what I'm saying? I remember people liked it, blah, blah, blah. Let's try it. So around this time, we pretty much talking summer 2019. And again, whole new beginnings, you feel me? Going into my freshman year of college, going into a whole new lane of life, moving out again. I got a girlfriend at this time. Like stuff is just different. I never really have real relationships. I never really been in a lot of quote unquote serious relationships. So like I said, everything was really just different. That was a mistake I made the other day. That's leaving conditioner, not actual conditioner. This is what we need. That's the juice. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no 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 way, boy. 
Boy, ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way in hell this shit should be that expensive. I can't go for it. I can't just. I can't disagree with that shit. We trying something new out. Don't get me lying about why I decided to pick that one. It basically just came from somebody recommending it to me. I wanted to try it, and it's kind of expensive, so I was like, shit, it might be good. And that's really all it boils down to. People gonna sit here and tell you, yeah, man, you gotta have the right atomical level of bi protein for each strand of hair to make your curls defined. And da da da. I don't, bro, bro. Shut your stupid. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong. Don't be putting bullshit in your hair. You'll mess it up, damage it. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not for everything. I have noticed that uh, certain products make my hair a little bit more frizzy. Some some products don't sit in my hair for long enough. Like, they just get soaked up in it. Certain products just sit on top of my hair. This one, we're about to see what it does. It's a $17 experiment um, on top of the fucking $40 I spent the other day. But that's what, that's that's just the game. But getting back on track with what I was talking about. Yeah, man, it was just a... a point again where I felt like I needed to change so I chopped it all off again and for a few months it kind of seemed like it was cool you know what I'm saying I, I was kind of growing with it a little bit I was like man this is this some grown shit you know what I'm saying I'm in college now but it was something missing bro it was just something just was missing by my life I'm not gonna blame it all on my haircut I'm not gonna blame it on who I was around I think it was a combination of a lot of things just me not being really like comfortable where I was at like I didn't to be completely honest, I never wanted to go to college. Besides playing football in college, I never really saw myself doing it. And even then, I would think like, it would be cool to play on the field and on a division one level, all that type of stuff. But at the same time, I just knew I didn't really care for college, man. Besides the experience and like just going and being with the people and the people you end up meeting, I just never really seen myself as a college person. It just never really been something I wanted to do. As long as I can remember, I always seen school in general as a scam. But college, when you gotta pay for school after it's been free for you, your whole life and then they take you to another place you gotta pay four years i just wasn't really comfortable man but one thing i can say is that even through all that i never let myself get too far off track and this could go deep into mental health and all that other stuff but i'm just one of the people man like regardless of what happens regardless of how things go i've always just been able to find my center I can just find different things to allow them to be my center and, and be good. Like, I can just get through it. I don't know, man. It's just how I've always been. It's just how I'm, how I'm wired, I guess. But around that time, I kind of just wanted to feel comfortable again. I wanted to feel like, you know what I'm saying, I could work towards something and still have something that reminded me of who I was. My favorite book in the Bible has always been the story of Samson. He was the strongest man in the Bible. And because he defied God and let a woman come in between him and God and, and his actual responsibilities and duties, he got his head chopped off and lost, and lost his strength. But yeah, I don't know, man. I think it was around like October-ish. I kind of was just like, man, I want my hair back, bro. Like, I miss having my hair on my head. So, regardless of what folks said, around November, I said, fuck it, bro. I'm growing this, I'm growing this back out. Bro, I don't know what that is, but I be seeing it. Vanderhall. Slingshots, they, they cool, but them, that's P, like, them, them different. I gotta grab one of those. Yeah, <laughs> JP. So. Before I keep going on with this video, man, it is six o'clock. It just hit six o'clock over here, as y'all can see. I don't know why I be doing that. I just love showing y'all like the time, cause like nowadays it be so quick to just focus. You know, what I'm I used to have that issue with my old camera. I could be right here with it and it focus in on me, and then pull out and it still focus in on me. You know what I'm saying? Then I can show y'all the time, and it's like boom. You know what I'm saying? But then I come back to me, and it's still again, it's boom, it's 4K. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, real quick, I'm about to go ahead and eat some. Um, I know how I get when I end up doing my hair and dealing with my hair. I gotta take these braids out, which is gonna take an hour and a half, two hours at that. Gotta wash and condition my hair, deep condition my hair, all in one night, you know what I'm saying? It's already six o'clock, man. I'm gonna be doing this for the whole entirety of the night and filming at the same time. So y'all stay tuned in with me, man, but I'm gonna catch y'all after I get done eating. And then we'll continue with the whole storyline. All right, y'all, so we back. I just gotta eat dinner and everything. Finishing up the night, but I cannot finish without getting this hair out of these braids, man. No cap. Let's start off with taking the dewey off, though. I don't even see, man. The do right line in the middle of my forehead. But yeah, man. Check the length, check the growth. It's crazy. Last time I did this video, I think my shit was like up here. Type of shit, now they down there. These braids are like a month old. As y'all see, like my, my ends be getting curled up and stuff because I be having rubber bands on them. And I be putting do-rags on them too, like on my head at night and I lay down. 
I got a photo like that or some shit. But yeah. So yeah, I gotta go ahead and finish taking the rest of these rubber bands off. The majority of them pop, but I got a couple more to go. One thing I will say, I've seen people be like careful and like extra delicate with their hair and stuff like that. I guess, me personally, it's my hair, man. It ain't like it's, it's like me, you know what I'm saying? It's sturdy, you feel me? It ain't gonna just rip out my hair and pull off or nothing like that. My hair is pretty thick, strong, and everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be gentle on my shit. I be, I be getting the job done. But I got this little comb. I seen I should use a, 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 a rat tooth comb, but I just be using this to start it off. And I just be staking them out, simple as that. Alright, first one is out. Boom. So yeah, that took me all of about five minutes to take one out. Pretty much, there ain't nothing special to it, man. This, this, this process is extremely long. It's gonna take me a good, a good like hour and a half to get all of these out. As y'all can see, it took me five minutes to take one out, and I got a lot more than just one. I'm about to be doing this for a whole night. But yeah, so getting back to the story, man. Like I said, I got to a point where I was just like, man, stuff needs to change, man. I need to connect with, with myself, really to lock in on a different level. Like, I just really wasn't where I wanted to be in life. I had some things that was going on good. I had a lot of things going good, actually. It's like, not that I couldn't be grateful for my life in general, but it's just like, it wouldn't be right of me to take the things that I appreciated out of life and then, and then use them to get whatever else I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be ungrateful. That would be really ungrateful for me to just take the blessings that I I have and I use them the way they're intended to be used. So I was really just like, yeah, man, I gotta, gotta lock in. And I know, like, growing your hair out, I think anybody can can attest to the fact that it's it's not like you're doing active work all the time, and it's not like you're getting monetary um, results from it, not like that. But it's, it is still, it's work. It's a journey, like I said earlier. It's something you gotta take the time to to cultivate and be patient to get the results you're looking for. And like I said in the last video, it's really a spiritual journey in a way because your hair becomes somewhat of a part of you. Like I take care of my hair. I don't let certain stuff around in my hair and stuff like that. I don't like, I don't like certain people touching my hair. When you get nervous or you get scared or something like that, the hair on your body stands up. That's a natural reaction, but it's because you being scared and aware, hypersensitive to the environment, your hair is reaching out to try to get a better grasp of what's going on. And that's just the hair on your body. So imagine what the hair on your head is doing. It's somewhat like antennas or like whiskers or a cat. Like it's, just, it's like another sensory organ. Knowing that I have Native American in my blood and, and although I'm not close to that, that side of me, I guess I say, or like that part of me or whatever, like where I come from and, and those roots, um, I still try to take some of the things that they do and just be knowledgeable of it, you know what I'm saying? And one of the traditions that they have is growing their hair out. Only cut it if like there's, there's death in the immediate family or something crazy going on or something like a like a real new beginning in their life. You know what I'm saying the cutting of their hair is kind of like the death of the old or the death of the time that had already passed and like the regrowth is the new beginning and stuff like that. So I looked into that. There was a lot that went into it, man, but this all kind of just happened as I was doing it, as I made the choice. It wasn't like I just decided, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is what, what I mean by I'm gonna grow my hair out. It was just like, man, I want to do it. I know it's something that I want to do. I've always wanted to do it. Since I was a kid, whenever I would like envision myself as a grown man, I always see myself with hair. I never see myself with a low cut or bald or anything like that. Even as a kid, I kind of did used to want locks. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah. So I remember playing like Madden 07 or Madden 05. I was Madden 05 with Ray Lewis on it. And all my creative players had like, if I had a running back, quarterback, wide receiver, everybody I had had dreads, like long locks. If I ended up deciding to lock them up, I wouldn't be too surprised. I think it's the best way to put them maintain them once your hair get real long but i don't know i'm not really planning for it not subconsciously i think i am going to lock my hair up but it's gonna be like after like a couple more years i'm not gonna do it anytime soon i really want to have a lot of time of just having it out like this i can do so much with my hair when it's how it is now i can braid it up have plaits i can do like cornrows and different styles with cornrows i can do two strands or i can wear the fro i can do the blowout fro you know what i'm saying and be on my r&b Maxwell, Brent Fias Bob. We'll see, man. Like I said, I'm not totally against it. I'm just not really aiming towards doing it right now. I don't know, man. I probably ain't gonna cut my hair off till I'm like in my 30s or 40s or 50s or something. Like, I don't really see myself cut my hair off no time soon. Three hours later. Oh, this shit ridiculous, bro. What the fuck? Nigga ain't even know it. You're done.
Yep, see? Always. Dog, this took all day. Like, y'all don't be peeping. That's why I be telling my sister. Like, I don't feel like it'd be way better for me to let you take my hair out for me. And then you do my hair at the same time. That way it's all one thing. It's one o'clock in the morning right now. Now, granted, I do this at the past time. I, like, I'll, I'll, I get online and search some stuff up, listen to some podcasts, stuff like that. Like, right now, I'm listening to this podcast on cryptocurrency and e-commerce and NFTs and the blockchain and Web3. Um, I'm with Belmar. The world is amazing, bro. <laughs> Where we're going is amazing. Do that to just to get my mind off of it, but this it, it don't make the process no shorter. Like this should be forever, man. Now y'all can fully see just how long my hair got, man. Crazy, right? This is crazy, bro. Like this is dumb. Look at this, bro. My roots under my hair, all the way down. You know what I'm saying? Lately, dog, like I said, I've just been everywhere. I've just been learning a lot from everywhere and, and taking it in, soaking it up, and just building myself, my character, my, my confidence, my my drive. You know what I'm saying? Really figuring out and knowing who I am and trusting who I am. And now that I've actually spent that time during the process of growing my hair out, during the process of just developing as a man and becoming who I want to be, now that I am the man I want to be, is there's nothing that's in the way of me getting whatever it is I want out of life, except for time. And I trust time. I trust that everything that is going to happen is going to happen in due time. It's just a matter of it changing. So I don't trip, man. And I tell y'all this so that y'all can take a piece of what I say. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Hopefully you can, can relate to it. Hopefully my community, the viewers, all y'all boys out there, y'all show love, y'all, y'all respect my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Take it for what it is. Eat the meat, spit out the bones, and apply it to your life the best way you possibly can to get whatever it is you want in your life. Because that's what it, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking everything that I'm learning and overall just formulating my own process and my own life the best way I know how to. So with all that being said, man, I'm so very thankful if you watched this video from the beginning to the end, man. This took a lot for me to just do, but I did it. I fought through it. I made it happen. I had a plan in the beginning. I had a vision of how I, I envisioned it uh, playing out. And as it went on, it just it flowed. Thankfully, you know what I'm saying? As time went on, it all played out. And so, like I said, thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end. Make sure y'all stay tuned in for more videos coming soon. If you haven't already watched the video that I dropped a year ago, watch that video right here. It's gonna be linked right here. If you wanna watch any more videos about just me, more so, like I said, I'm, I'm focusing on mainly on fashion. Tap me after the video right here. With all that being said, man, it's your boy 71J. It's much love to all y'all. It's good vibes only. We're going.